Ladies and gentlemen, adjust your headphones. Come on in and shut the front door. You're welcome to the You Should Know podcast, the news from the antagonist shoes. So it is episode two, series four. We're carrying on with our guest interview. We've got Kazim here, high profile comedian on the show. We're doing this. Michael's introduced him to us on the show. And I'm going to let him say a few things about himself. As you guys should know, we've started this new podcast. It's a new segment. We have a guest on that comes and talks about a time where they should have known better. Could have been a holiday madness. Could have been time at uni. Could have been anything that happens at home. And then we basically pick and pick that story apart and work out where they should have known better. So I'm going to let it roll on to you. All right. Boom. Um, so this story, this story, I actually tell it on stage, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it in a broken down version of of the actual events. No, no stuff that's done with jokes. Um, okay. So, so ju- just before you do that, just before you do that, some listeners who may not know who you are, probably oh, want to get an insight. Okay. Of you, you know, go on to the handles and that. They want to get you know a bit more information oh, about you. Wrong. How would you describe yourself? Michael t- gave me the brief like a proper Niger, bruv. Just this is what y'all doing. Come and do it. Um, <laughs> I didn't know you wanted to do that. <laughs> he said, he said yeah, just come and that? tell a story. That's it. <laughs> can we get that <laughs> NI number? Can we get that blood type? Yeah, get... <laughs> cool. Yeah, um, yeah. My name is Kazim Jamal, stand up comedian um, from South East London. Um, yeah, I got, I got, I got a hour special on YouTube. Um, right. my, yeah, I got my dates on my website, funnyblackcomic.com. That's the same as my handles, funnyblackcomic.com. Um, and if you like to hear comedy, that is, there's no, there's no limit to what is discussed on the stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. If you got feelings. Yeah. yeah, leave them at the door. Don't, don't come because uh, I'll touch on everything, but I'll do it with. I'll do it with some some. I'll craft it in a in a way where I'm not just an arsehole up there saying mean things. Turned up to eleven. All right, okay. Well, you heard him. Yeah, check man. out funny black comic. Check the handle. No and dad, I'll... no problem on YouTube. Check that out. Our special. Yeah, check that okay, out, man. Yeah. Check my dates out. Check my sketches out. More things coming next. I know everyone says that. No, like, wait till next year. Yeah, things coming. <laughs> but I've got things. Co- I'm that guy now. I've got things coming out next year. Yeah, 2022. That's my year. <laughs> my year. <laughs> and that's what we love to hear. That's exactly what we love to hear. Yeah. yeah, yeah so I'm going to the story. Yeah? yeah. 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 Jump in. Jump in. All right. So you, um, like I was saying, so when I was 14 years old, I got arrested. Right. And uh, I got arrested for for common assault. Yeah, I was in a park. I was in a park with my friends from school mm. uh, and some girls. I went to an all boys school, innit? So mm. anytime we could link up with girls, that was that was the motive. After school weekend, and there was there was two girls schools local to us. So okay. we linked up with these girls from school now, and we're in the park where we're messing about. Everyone's messing about. Everyone's messing about, and and the boys and the girls they're like play fighting, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. Guys are guys are just <laughs> guys are just dropping these girls on the floor. Yeah, oh, one touching them. <laughs> yeah, just sweeping them. Just oh, sweeping the, them. The drapes. Wow. The the cre- yeah, the cre- okay, legs sweeping okay, them. Yeah. They're on the floor, Damn. and they're yeah. getting up all laughing in that. Yeah, the girls are the, and- <laughs> the guys. <laughs> that is that's that's not the quality you were looking for. <laughs> no. <laughs> They get, remember, this is 2009, isn't it? Oh, this is before the quality drive, mad. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Um, uh, and they just get they just getting legs sweeped onto the floor, but it's all it's all bands. Everyone's having yeah. a great time. And I and looking back in hindsight, now I'm like, did I do it the wrong way? Like, did I did I did I um keen them? Did I Manchester United old school? Did I keen one girl and just oh, right. and I don't know if I did. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if yeah. I did. I, I was the biggest at that age. Like no, I'd grown before everyone. Is it? Is it so like everyone's know. like goading each other? It's like, yeah, go on, drop it. Or is it like you manage, you've done yeah, this before, you're always the boy, And then they're getting swept and they're going on the floor. Everyone's getting up laughing. So I've gone, cool, this is what we're doing. And I just, I just sweep one chick here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then And then everyone's like, what, what you did, bruv? <laughs> he took it too far. 
<laughs> I'm like, hold on a minute. We're all doing this. We don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Make it out like you the problem. Yeah, and then all the girls were like, were you hitting girls for? I was like, no, 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 no. I didn't hey. hit anyone. I, I was like, I'm not that guy. I didn't hit anyone. And I thought, further, I said to them, furthermore, at this age, like what, year nine? Look at the mm. size of me. I was a rugby player. Look at the size of me and the size of her. If I hit her, she'd be collapsed. She wouldn't be getting up. Yeah, she'd be like, yeah, lights yeah. out. Lights out. Yeah, it'll be done. So clearly I didn't. I'm just doing what everyone else is doing. Yeah. So now she's having a go. All her friends are having a go. I'm looking at my friends like, yo, does anyone want to say anything? Like, yeah. does anyone want to back it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trust. Pipe up. But then... <laughs> But it's early, it's early in our manhood, isn't it? So they were thinking like, nah, fam, because if I back you, then this matting over here funny. ain't going to... Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, so I might not see, I might not see Stacey next week, you know, if I, if I come and defend you. <laughs> they, they're trying to secure their thing. So I'm looking like, I'm looking like Denzel at the end of training day. I'm like, oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I left you hard to dry. Proper. So argument kicks off now, and uh, this girl says to me, "By the way, everyone there's everyone there's white, but me. Oh, everyone there's no, white. You should have, you should have even have touched them. You should have just said, listen, I'm Damn, gonna throw you on the floor. Yeah, yeah you play, but you I can't do it because I'm gonna boy. be. Yeah, yeah, boy, this, that's a key I'm part there of the story. Though, <laughs> I'm there thinking though, but my mom's mixed race, my nan's white. I'm." I can do this, you know. What I mean, I got, I got, I got that the on privilege. Go and tell that to PC Bob Wentworth. <laughs> no, nah, they didn't see it. But in my head, I had that percentage of of privilege to right. be able to do them what they could do. <laughs> <laughs> but not on the, not on the optics. On the optics, I didn't. Yeah, I got you. Um, I got you. So everyone's white, and then the girl says to me, "Ah, oh, why don't you just go back to where you come from?" No. Right? Jeez. Just, yeah, for no was, it the, was it was it the daughter of Michael Vaughan or <laughs> <laughs> listen, whoever's the daughter this is, they learned a lesson this day, yeah. <laughs> yes! I swear to God. I, I wanna hear to it. I wanna hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just I just snorted up the biggest green piece of phlegm mm. and just launched it straight at her face oh, because I, again I'm not that guy and I say it on stage as well I, go, I didn't hit her because I'm not going to hit a girl no. so what's the next best thing oh. she just abused me I'm going to abuse her back the Damn. best way I can without and to me at that age I'm like spit is not a crime so I'm just like boom and it Jeez. flies and then and as soon as it comes out in slow motion bruv the thing is spinning in the air the oh, piece of flame blade spilling blade. in there. Oh, yeah. God. One what like one one side looks like a ball and then string. That, so it looked like a punk or something. <laughs> that Roberto Carlos spin on it straight, straight to yeah. the straight to the face. And it goes goes to her and it and it hits her straight on the forehead. And it's oh, got man. she didn't have no agility, she couldn't die the... Nah, Eesh. remember I'm seeing it in slow motion, she's seeing it in real time. Right. Get me. She she had to go to the she had to go to the VAR and see it in real time. Oh, she had to go review that. That was his serious foul play. <laughs> no, that's a mad scene. Yeah. Yeah. Getting spat at is as it's almost almost like punch. It's fighting talk, isn't it? Yeah, you swear. No, what she fight. said, what she said was fighting talk. Oh, it was all fighting talk. It was all fighting talk. But I guess I guess because yeah, as you as you say, you know, if someone's racist, you can't you can't touch a lady. So you, yeah, but you you so got to le- you got to learn. I'm not I'm not I'm not just gonna hold that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, and year nine as well. Like come on, team. Yeah, you yeah, get me. Yeah, yeah, all of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I explained yeah, this all yeah. on stage. I'm saying it was just impulsive. I didn't even think about it. You know what I'm saying? And now um now she's going crazy. She starts hitting me in it. Yeah. So I, I grab both her hands like this, and I move her to the side. And then yeah. all I did was this action, and I moved her to the side to stop hitting me. And then everyone goes. <laughs> Again, I'm like, no, I'm not, fam. I'm not. <laughs> I'm definitely not hitting this chick. <laughs> anyway, I'm still pissed off. She's still going on. So I mm. take out a two pound coin from my pocket and I dash it at her, isn't it? <laughs> and I, You're and doing I, everything. You're doing, yeah. I love the restraint. You're doing everything. Everything but not hit this person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the kitchen sink. <laughs> and bro, I, I I threw it like like hard, yeah. like a like, like a baseball throw. Like yeah. 
threw it hard, but it missed. Whatever, we left. Did you, did you, did, did you, yeah, did you pick it back up? I can't, I can't leave it. We're, we're in a field, innit? We're like in this like open park space. So yeah. that's gone. It's gone. I've thrown, uh, so, thrown it so hard, it's gone. Uh, and um, we leave and we go to McDonald's and we're chilling and we decide to leave and then a police car comes and says, can you guys wait there? <laughs> See, I didn't they say come. bought anything about McDonald's but they threw the two pounds. Yeah, that was <laughs> the last of it. I had to get ketchup. <laughs> Just licking ketchup. <laughs> yeah, my mum said, this is it. This is your two pound for the day. Oxfam. <laughs> my, 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 my pocket money was at like, Oxfam, bro. It was two pound a day, fam. <laughs> two pounds, two pounds a month. Two pound a week or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> we leave. The police come up to me, and I've 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 been in not in trouble with the police, but just doing like like boisterous stuff where they come and they've been called. You're making a, too much noise, whatever. And they chat to you and yeah, did yeah. a movie one. So I'm thinking, oh, this is a movie one job. So they're chatting to me. I'm I'm just real blasé. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. What are we gonna do later? We're going to the park, or what are we do later? And yeah. then, uh, then one of the officers said, "So listen carefully to what my colleague has to say to you next." Yes. And I'm just like, "Yeah, okay, cool." Whatever she's gonna tell me, like, behave, stay in school, don't do drugs, all of that stuff. And then she goes, um, "I'm arresting you under such and such an act. You do not have to say anything. But, uh, all that, all oh, that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's like, like you know when the something bill. happens <laughs> and your neck just." Breaks and you're like, what do you say, fam? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I wasn't yeah, even yeah. looking at that. You don't have to say. You can. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you can, anything you say may be used in evidence against you. I so, said, no way. While they're wow. doing this, while they're doing this, are they are they putting the cuffs on you or? Are they pulling are, out are, the are cuffs? They, yeah, and they've cuffed me, but in front, not not behind. Okay, Rotted. and now I'm just speechless. I'm just going, what? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm trying to play it down to my friends because. To them, I'm, I'm the guy. Mm. Just in general, in school, I'm the yeah. guy. Fight anyone at this point in my life. Fight anyone. All of this stuff. Yeah. But, but I'm like, I've got this smirk on my face like I've been arrested 50 times before this. I have, I have <laughs> not. Like... I've not been arrested. I was not arrested before that and I've not, never been arrested since. Yeah. <laughs> That's with my one and only. So I've got this smirk on my face. I'm walking to the car and whatnot. And they're all screaming out now. Free Kazim, free my guy Kazim. Free this, yeah. Put, put, on, the MSN, put on the MSN status. Yeah. <laughs> I look back as I get to the car and I give him a I give him a cheeky look behind my shoulder, like, yeah, you know it, bro. <laughs> yeah, before I get in the car, write me, yeah, put money on my books, yeah, all of that, that look that just said it all. I get into the car and I start crying. I start okay. crying immediately. Yeah, no doubt. And um it's emotional. Yeah, because at that for my whole life until then if you get in trouble with the police if you get a criminal record that's it you're done yeah, Can't get yeah, into yeah. that's what they tell you isn't it yeah yeah mm. yeah so I'm thinking this is it it's, over. it's game over long story short we get to the station the one of the, the police officers he's grilling me <clears throat> and he's interviewing me illegally and I would only find that out after the fact yeah he's interviewing me he's asking me he's questioning me Bro, in, the, no in, lawyer, the, in the car park no lawyer no, no in the car park <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, so what? he's pulling. Surely he's meant to take it to the uh, inside the station, no? Yeah, they're meant to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, spot. Yeah, Wait. they're meant to do that. So we're in the car park of the police station, and he's interviewing me. And he's he's going. He's basically going. Just admit it, mate. Just admit it. I know you did it. Yeah, all of this cross questioning me. He goes, "You're a liar. You're lying. I know you. I know you're kind." I go, "My kind. I've never oh, been arrested God. before." <laughs> but he's black. He's black. Yeah. Oh, oh, this, oh this, my. This, this Mr. Ku, PC Kunisha, fam. What's Wait. Yeah. That guy There's who did that black bloody off- equality act thing, isn't it? What's his name? I forget his name. <laughs> there's two black officers and there's one white one white female officer. And this tall one, he's just onto me, grilling me. Anyway, I still got the cuffs on, mm. just sitting out the car now on the seat. And uh, they go to run my name through the system to see you know and the white female officer is the only one that is trying to hear anything I'm trying to say yeah mm. the two black officers that would you'd think you'd think yeah, yeah, that, yeah, I think yeah. it's that good cop bad cop thing I can't lie I think they said send the two brothers out grill him then he's gonna turn to you that I mean you're gonna tell the story anyway but I reckon that's what they may have had in mind didn't it maybe so the Afri- the, the other officer the other black officer he's African isn't it mm. accent everything 
So he's gone to go run my name. And the white female officer is like, are you sure you've never been in trouble with the police before? You know, I'm backing you. Don't make me look stupid, innit? Mm. And I'm like, listen, I've never been in trouble with the police before in my life, like to this extent. And then the African officer comes back and goes, yeah, he's wanted for ABH, GBH and armed robbery. I said, piss yes. about. Oh, yes. I said, piss they about. Put all, they put all that on your head. Just to let our viewers know, we're doing this uh, interview from prison right now. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see he's, he, he's got 10 him. years left. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> Um, and then she she literally breaks all professionalism and she's like, she turns to him and goes, fuck off. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> and he goes, I'm just joking. Oh, and I was like, uh, you uh, piece uh, of shit, bro. Because uh, even I'm looking at you like, what are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Trust, like what have you been yeah, doing? Yeah, you're thinking, how do I get myself out of that? Yeah, let alone this, the yeah. only armed robbery I've done is with my arms. If you're talking about that, then that's yeah, you got me. You got me on that one. But other than that, no, nah, pick that's not me, Yeah, pick and mix Woolworth days. Oh, you, trust you me. guys, you guys have been t- checking me since then, yeah? You finally got me. <laughs> you finally got me. <laughs> they uh they take me into the cell and then they give you the option to have a like a hazmat suit or to have the string in your like clothes cut out in case you kill yourself with the with the laces. Yes. Yeah. And I had, I had like the string in my tracksuit bottoms and I was thinking, yeah, cause you could kill yourself, you know, in here. And I was like, how much trouble am I in? <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, <laughs> yeah, from, all you from, did was dash two pound coin a girl yeah, pound and slam on her. Yeah. yeah. And now they're saying, I'm, bro, if you kill yourself. I was thinking, how many years am I doing? Sure, that they're telling day. me this. Anyway, I, I like my tracksuit bottoms in it. So I was like, run me the suit. <laughs> That's my suit. <laughs> <laughs> run, run yeah, with the suit. Really and they take that. your trainers as well they take your trainers oh. so you can't have the laces in them so I'm in this suit now and um, I'm in the cell and the one re- real moment of that is they say you know when they say when the, when the, when the cell door shuts it, it, you hear that banging forever mm. it, it bangs for a time like it, mm. it, the echo and you're just like and when it shuts you know I ain't getting out of this yeah. I'm no <laughs> Michael Schofield bro so I'm done this until they say you can go, this is me. <clears throat> and I'm and I'm 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 laying down on the uh, on on the on the bed, but it's really just one of them blue mats that you have in like gymnastics PE. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so there's and there's no pillow. What? And so then, where's your where's your head laid? Floating. My, this ass, my ass roll in hair, fam. <laughs> oh, my. It's my pillow. <laughs> it's my and then that what that toilet, no lids. <laughs> No lids. Wow, so all the spray no. just goes in your face. No, no they're, lids. They're, 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 they're no lids. There, man. They're living different. And it's right? cold. And the seat. And then and then I'm sitting there going, kill myself with the laces. The ceiling is so high, bro. Um, and there's no bunk beds. I'm like, obviously learning later, I found out there's other ways to do it. But at 14, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Yeah, I'm like, okay. yeah, you have to be anyway, creative. The funny thing was is that the area that I, I moved to when I went to secondary school, um, there was a racist gang mm. and their leader um, was notorious in the area. And on the bed, the mattress thing, he had he had etched his name onto it. So I was like, ain't that ironic Mad. that I've just been racially abused and I'm in the mm. cell that a racial abuser has marked up as his own. The mm. irony. They go, yeah. They ask all the questions. I'm I, I'm I'm conscious of time, so I'm still, I'm gonna fly through this for yeah, yeah, yeah. um, <clears throat> They uh they they asked me if I want to solicit. I said no. I just want to get out of it because my mum's on holiday. Yeah, so I just want to get out. I just want to get out of it and deal with whatever after. Um, they go to get my nan. My nan's looking after me, and my nan's on the same vibe as me. Let's just get out of it. In hindsight, I should have got a solicitor. I should have counted it, saying no. This is why I did this, that, and the third. Yeah, mm. but we didn't do the interview. And it's and it's real life. It's all that interview commencing at two ten, and all that shit is real life. Yeah. Um. I leave. They charge me with common assault, and and they give me a reprimand, and they say if you stay out of trouble for two years or something, this is off your record. So all you got to do is, and that was the white officer that that um like basically lobbied for me to have that because they want oh, to right. caution me or something. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. but she backed it and was like I don't think he meant to spit at her I, I did but um, <laughs> <laughs> she's not listening now <laughs> uh, 
So we leave the we leave the station. They actually drop us back to my crib, to my house, and um, which is max. I live on a, like a, a cold a second. Neighbors are mad, busy neighbors. So they always mm. seen a police car pull up. Me getting that, you know the conversation. That oh, only black the family on the yeah, road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all going. Mean? I told, I told you, love. I told yeah. you what they're like. Yeah, you know what I mean. Do, <laughs> do I like that. Steve. Yeah. Um, my mum comes back from holiday the next day. I'm vexed. I, I'm scared that because she's going to be proper vexed. Mm. Uh, and, and I'm like, the beating is coming. It's coming. Mm. Um, she gets out of the taxi. I'm doing all the... Do you want me to carry your bags? Jeez. Let me... And she just looks at me and doesn't say anything. I go, I, I, well, are you angry? Are you angry? And she goes, no, I'm just... I'm just very disappointed. And I was yeah. like... Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that, when chest. you hit that with the D word, yeah, you feel it. Uh, you know when you want the beating, yeah. You want the beating. <laughs> I even feel for you. I feel for you. Like what? I obviously you may have acted out of turn, but you're racially abused. I don't think people who haven't been racially abused know what know know what that feels like. Yeah, I don't think people do. Mm-hmm. That's and true. yeah, and I guess I guess the 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 moral of the story is um don't don't. Don't trust white people, man. <laughs> he <laughs> if I fifteen minutes. I should have known better to come outside with a bunch of white people and thought, I'm I'm probably safe right now. If history has taught taught us anything. <laughs> well, they, they, they literally it's, it's sad that get out has been made because you could have made the story off you could have made a film off your story. That's yeah, sure. I, do you know I, what is is great though, is that fourteen years later, mm. it's Killing on stage, that story. Oh, Killing. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's it. That's, yeah, well, it's a true sometimes story you like go that. from pain, innit? To, to, to entertain. <laughs> it was all worth it. We had, we had, at least your story was, your story was useful. Uh, like last week we had Junior Booker and he said his degree wasn't useful. I said it, I said it was finally useful for this. this um, oh, well, that, that's the point. So there you I'm go. surprised Junior's got a degree, bro. <laughs> uh, bro, let me tell you, when he said that, I said, are you sure? A degree in what? I think he felt like shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Where did he get that from? He put he put it on stream, my bro. Yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> I asked him for the grand photos. He said he, he said they lost. He lost. Uh, so. He fucking threw him in crayon. Yeah, this is me. Uh, yeah, my yeah, yeah, grand photos are missing because they are missing. <laughs> <laughs> they are missing. But no love because you've drawn. No, thanks, guys. I appreciate it, man. Okay, no. on. Uh, thanks for telling us your story. Thanks for sharing that. that was uh, yeah. Thanks for having me, man. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, easy. Yeah. Take care, man. Easy. <laughs> Yeah, now we're going to move on swiftly to the main segment, or not really the main segment, the other segment, I'm going to call it now, of the pod, the You Should Know Better yeah, segment. Okay. This is where we look at a prominent news story, something topical that's going on in the news, and we look at it from the antagonist's shoes and ask ourselves, should they have known better? So we have got very popular news, a very topical right now, obviously, Kazim touched on some racism, but uh, institutional racism. And in the institution we're talking about now is cricket, particularly Yorkshire cricket. And we have got a young man, uh, Az- Azim Rakif. Or Ra- yes, I said that correctly, I believe. He had been given evidence to uh, government or MPs about the experience of racism he had whilst playing for the Yorkshire, Yorkshire cricket team. And many racial slurs a whole culture of racism, putting people down. But what we wanted to do is focus on one individual who was named, and that individual is Michael Vaughan. He was a former England captain, and he is uh, alleged to have said... Uh, what was he alleged to have said? He said that... He said something mad. What did he say? He said that... Um, what did he say? That? I'm trying to find it. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. He said... <laughs> He said, this is Michael Vaughan, not me. Michael Vaughan <laughs> saying this. There's Michael Kadiri or Michael Vaughan? <laughs> Michael Vaughan. It's Michael Vaughan saying this. Just he, don't, he don't my words. He don't my words. <laughs> Quotation mark. Too many of you lot. We need to do something about it. Quotation closed. So, and Michael Vaughan has come out and denied it. So I'm going to put Junior in the shoes of Michael Vaughan because Junior holds similar views himself. <laughs> and... <laughs> 
<laughs> so it'll be very easy for him. <laughs> You've got problems. It's <laughs> <laughs> very easy for him to do this this part of the podcast. <laughs> so, Julia. Yeah, go on. Why, why are you racist? <laughs> I obviously refute that. You're obviously talking rubbish. <laughs> Why are you racist? It reminds me of that guy. Why are you gay? Remember that? You yeah, 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 that, that, that meme. <laughs> I'm not gay. You are gay. <laughs> you are. He said you are. How can you tell me? How can you tell me? But, but no, yeah, all right. So as Michael, but look, right. I just want to say, I never said those things. You know, I'm bitterly disappointed. That this is coming out against me. Is okay. this Dwight York or Michael Porter? <laughs> I've been speaking to Dwight York for, for mentorship. <laughs> <laughs> he said I should say I'm bitterly disappointed. <laughs> oh my god. Oi. Oi. No, no, yeah. So I'm I am I'm upset. I'm truly upset. Yeah. Um, this is probably the worst day of my life. Um, and I don't think people can truly, you know, understand that how bad it is that someone would say this. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, I, I'm really upset. You, you, you're upset that you're being accused. What about the, the person on the receiving end? How do you think well, uh, Azim felt? How, how do you think he felt being in the culture? Where... Well, well, oh, go on. well, well no. no, look, look, uh, yeah, go on. I, look, Azim can, you know, he's got his perspective. I, I don't remember saying that. I'm sure I didn't say that. You know, I'm not racist. Um, I've got an Indian doctor. Um, but you can't really pick him. You can't really pick him on NHS. Anyway, sorry, sorry. Did he pick you? Or did you, pick... <laughs> you can't really pick him anyway. But <laughs> Man said he went to A and E and he had an Indian doctor after waiting five hours, and he he still accepted him. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I just it doesn't it sound like anything I'd say. You know, I wouldn't say that to you lot. I wouldn't say you lot. You know, and if I said it was inclusive, like you lot over there. Oh, with, okay. You no, know, like love. as in. Yeah, as in like, uh, you know, they're in a they're in a an, an area. So you look at you guys over there, as opposed to like you lot being Indian and stuff like that. I, you know, it's not nothing I would say. So you know, I just hope people understand how upset I am about this whole situation. You know, um, because I've known these guys for years, and you know, I've, every time you play Test cricket, you know, I shake their hands. I yeah. immediately wash it after, of course. Oh um, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just it's a lot of heartache for me yeah my privilege is eroding here yeah, yeah. it's just it's just not fun you know it's just not fun he is uh, normally I'll, re- I'll rebuttal you because you're just looking <laughs> a lot of rubbish but just in the interest of time yeah fair um, enough yeah in fair the enough. interest of time like he's, he's, he's it's one of those things that when you're accused of doing something in the news the, the, t- the PR tactic is to deny remembering it but you, yeah. you, don't, you don't have to remember it yeah, you, you don't have to. The he, other people he, can remember it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's always, um, it's always. I refute it, but you know, he's 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 allowed to have his opinion and stuff. But but I never said that. And but there's other people saying you said similar things, if not the same thing. There's yeah. posts of you back from 2010 mm. saying disparaging things about people, you know, in London not speaking English. Yeah, I mean, there's no smoke about fire. That's all I've got to say. That well, that, that that's very true, and because uh, the you lot he was referring to, there were four uh, cricketers. Uh, the other gentleman was Adil Rashid, and he's come out and backed his former colleague Azim Rafiq's allegation. So Michael Vaughan, you you you, you, you catch a fade, you catch some smoke, mm. man, and well deserved. And there is a lot of heads rolling with this, and as as they should. Yeah. And I think it just goes to show this is this is happening in a country where just a few months ago the government denied the existence of such a thing. So it just it just flies in the face of all our intelligence. And everyone's like, oh, rah, woo, ha. Ah. So if this can happen in a cricket club, then Lord knows what do you think is happening on a governmental level. So yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So, but we'll move on. What, what have you got for me? What have you got for me? So I've got another story based on... No, I'm joking, it's not race. It, well, actually, it is. It's based in racing, kind of. <laughs> you know, you know where I'm this, going with this? This guy, you're a pun master, man. <laughs> <laughs> dad jokes, man. You're pregnant. Why do you need dad jokes? <laughs> it's racing, racing. Tomorrow, Eccleston. Okay. Bernie Eccleston, is he? Is he run Silverstone? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was Mr. F1, boy. Yeah, yeah. Mr. F1, Mr. F1. Anyway... This story is based around um, tomorrow, Eccleston. I mean, he was left petrified after being targeted by a ghost gang who stole up to 26 million 
pounds of goods from the celebrity's home. Mm. Um, there was three, three or fr- yeah, three um, gang members involved in this crime. We've also targeted uh, Frank Lampard and the yeah. um, the former um, Leicester City uh, chairman, whose name I will not try and butcher right now. Um, right. But anyway, there's three in the gang um, between the ages of 24, 45 and 44 and they pleaded guilty to conspiracy to burgle so some recent images of footage of, has come out of these three guys yeah first buying a burner phone and then going to harrods and spending the money like Bro. cash out like cash out they're spending Bro. the money cash out going to harrods buying fancy things it reminds me of this uh, this netflix show uh, called bad sport where one of the guys on it um he gets loads of money he's like a basketballer yeah. immediately goes and buys like a new car but he's in he's in like college and then the FBI and everyone's like, hang on, what's not the FBI, but the school are kind of like, hang on, what's going on? Yeah, here? yeah, how you getting all this peace? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so Mike, I want to put you in a member of, I want to put you in a position as one of these gang members. Uh, yeah. One was called Alexandre Donanti. Okay, yeah, Italian. Yeah, yeah Italian. Don, what, yeah, what were you yeah. thinking, number one, doing this robbery? Number two, what were you thinking, spending all that money? So silly. So silly. Do you not think so? The, Julian, let me tell you, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> For those who can't see, Michael's doing the, uh, the typical Italian hands. <laughs> yeah. Mamma mia, mamma mia. The mamma pizza, mia. The pizza is frozen. <laughs> the pizza is frozen. <laughs> He's complaining on that. <laughs> no, let me, let, let, let me tell you, I'm not going to do an Italian accent, but what I will say is, Mm. The way you ask that second question, why do you spend up? You clearly, Junior, you've never been rich. That's know, the problem. You've yeah. never been rich. You don't know how it feels to be stinking rich, to be up, to be seven figures up. Yeah. You'll be in Harrods. <laughs> me as well. You'll be in Harrods spending what? money. Well, me. damn, why didn't you invite me? That's <laughs> what <laughs> you want really to you want really to ride. I, I don't know. I don't know if you're a rider, Junior. I don't know if you're a rider. Nah, nah, nah. I don't, want to, I, don't, I don't think you got it in you. I don't want to end up in jail for common assault, so I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a rider. You're an observer. You're not a rider. Yeah. So, but the, but look, but look at the position you're in right now. You've been caught. You and your yeah. you and your fellow members have been caught. You're facing you know lengthy jail time. Was it worth it? Do you not feel like you could have just hid the money, spent it a bit more smarter? <sighs> well, that's the thing. I I don't know if you if you've been to Harrods. They they got some good stuff in that store. So I, yeah, I tried yeah. to. I was, I was gonna go back to Milan and you yeah. know, go back to Milan and spend it all there. Spend it change yeah. it up into some Euros. Yeah. And spend it all there. But boy, I was I was I was in that Kensington area and I said, nah, I need I need to get me some gums. I need the people of London to know that I'm not broke. Because the problem is when I came to London, yeah. I didn't have enough money. I was pushing like a, a Ford K eight. So the people okay. I live with, they didn't think I had money like that. So right. when we done this lick, when we done this robbery, I was up. So I wanted them to know, don't talk, talk to me nice. Right, I see. Talk to I me see. correctly. Okay. So I thought, let me go to Harrods and let, let me let me just spruce things up. So it was my it was, it was the ego. I needed people to know. I'm happy right. they now know. So, <laughs> so so you rather prefer people to know that you're a millionaire at the end of the day, yeah? Yeah. And go bin, yeah? yeah? Instead of, instead of, yeah, spending the money wisely, maybe buying for yourself a Ford Monday to begin with, yeah? yeah. <laughs> at the beginning and then potentially getting away with it. No, if what's the point of having money if people don't know? Because you can spend it on yourself and enjoy yourself. No, but in this life, it's about <laughs> show. I don't, I don't, exactly. You haven't have been a millionaire before, so you don't know. That's the problem. But get, get your money up and ask me these questions. Shut up. <laughs> get your money up. <laughs> Shut up. I don't play any millionaires. They don't, they're not in jail. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, ultimately, these guys, I think they, they let the money get the best. So it reminds me of um, those guys when they do those robberies, like looting and stuff, and then they go and pose with all the goods oh, and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. It's just completely silly and it's just not beneficial. And, they I do mean, it because they, they they do it for the, they're motivated by the wrong things. If you're yeah. motivated by money and mm. sometimes you don't have money, it's like people knowing you have money. Sometimes mm. I don't think people want money. I think people, they want, they're more happy people knowing or the illusion, which is what a lot of social media is, isn't it? Yeah. It's the illusion, I've got this or I've got access to that or I could do this. Well, like well yeah, well, let me say now they've got, well, they've had all the money they wanted. They're now going to enjoy a lengthy spin in jail and I wish them the best of luck. But oh, yeah, um, yeah, good luck to them. They deserve it. But yeah. yeah. Let me jump onto the uh, throwback segment. Uh, I've got a what nice quick one. Uh, 1991, in the 14th of November, um, established World Diabetes Day. Now, if you haven't got diabetes, go out and get it. 
No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Krispy Kreme. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's a foundation that raises awareness for diabetes type 1, which people yeah. are usually born with. Um, no, sorry. Um, sorry, yeah, type 2, which um, is preventable and treatable. Um, yeah. But type 1 is not preventable. People are born with and it's, you know, yeah. have to manage it themselves. So I just want to raise awareness of diabetes. Yeah, work shout out diabetes. diabetes. Yeah. Work with someone with diabetes. You want to raise awareness to it and... Hey, that's, check that's your sugars, man. Don't be eating all that junk, man. Check your sugars, man. I'm have to come to the next event. Check your, check your, check your throwback before this thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> telling me what. All I'm saying is, I, we're going to run out of time. So before, <laughs> I'm not doing my throwback this week. I'm going to do two next week. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> this mean you should know better. Have a good week. I don't do anything that's going to make us say you should know better. Peace. Love and peace. <laughs>